everyone and welcome. My name is Ian Lynch and I'm a proud member of the Canadian Kennel Club. The Canadian Kennel Club will be having a referendum starting on the 1st of November of this year, 2023, and it's going to run for 30 days. And a subject to be voted on in this referendum is moving the Dog de Bordeaux as a listed breed into full recognition with the Canadian Kennel Club into the working group. Now, it is believed that the Dog de Bordeaux's ancestors came to France with Julius Caesar in the first century BC. And these were immense, massive type dogs, and they were gruesome fighters, and they were actually used in the arena to fight both other dogs and wild beasts, lion, bulls, that sort of thing. And thankfully, that part of their history ended. And when that part of their history ended, they found work as guards, as livestock drovers, and they also were hunters as well. Now, in the late 1700s, the breed was actually the breed used to guard the French nobility's estates, but with the French Revolution, they lost that job. But the breed held on and continued to be livestock drovers. And outside of France, the whole world hadn't really heard of this breed ever until 1989 when Tom Hanks starred in a movie called Turner and Hooch and uh, the rest of the world was at that point introduced to this lovable, beautiful, very special breed. Now, here are some numbers. Voting in the upcoming referendum is crucial to get the dog to Bordeaux full recognition by the Canadian Kennel Club. 25% of CKC members need to vote and two-thirds of the members that vote need to vote in favor of adding the dog to Bordeaux to the working group. And it's very important to vote because the Dog de Bordeaux is actually the only breed up for recognition during this referendum. Now, to learn more about the Dog de Bordeaux and the importance of your vote, I've called on my friends, Tracy and Peter Muth of Chateau Rouge Dog de Bordeaux. Their names are synonymous with the breed, and I'm just so happy to have both of them here with me today. Hi, Peter and Tracy. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you I, for yeah. asking us. We're thrilled to have you here. And uh, I don't think anyone in the country knows more about the breed than you guys. Can you give me a little history of how you got involved with this wonderful breed? Well, Ian, first off, thank you very much for taking us on. And we do appreciate it. It's great for the breed. And we really appreciate it. Uh, we were first introduced to the breed by a in a meeting that we kind of just stumbled on the breed at a local uh, festival back in 1990. Uh, we purchased our first dog de Bordeaux in 1992. And uh, a little bit of the history on the breed that you missed on that. The first time that dog de Bordeaux was actually in a dog show was at the Jardin d'Acclamation in 1863 in Paris, France. So we do have a long and storied history with our breed. That's fantastic. And so they have been in dog shows. They have been documented for a very long time. Yes. And speaking of a long time, you two have been involved in the Dog de Bordeaux uh, world for a long time. And what moves have you and your fellow Dog de Bordeaux enthusiasts done in order to get this breed, I mean, initially listed with the Canadian Kennel Club? That must have been quite a bit of work. It has been a lot of work. In 2009, the Dog de Bordeaux Club of Canada was uh, formed and uh, we received CKC Club accreditation in November of 2010, and we are known as club number 910. Uh, in 2010, we were also added to the list of listed breeds, allowing us to compete with the CKC and eligible finally to compete in July of 2011. Uh, since that time, we've competed, we've completed the requirements for the Canadian Kennel Club for recognition by completing sanction matches, judges' education, breeders' education, and we've held national specialties since 2017. We, uh, the club has initiated the process per Ag Canada for the transfer of the breed uh, from the CFC to the CKC, and uh, meaning bre uh, most member breeders here have now voted in favor of this, and the last uh, referendum vote for that was 2021 for the beginning the move to the CKC. Why is it important if someone has never voted in a referendum like this before, can you explain to the members, maybe new members or members who maybe haven't voted before, can you tell them why it's important to have your breed moved from a listed breed to full recognition with the Canadian Kennel Club in the working group? As a listed breed, we do have limitations and the CKC is the most widely known of all of the five Canadian dog registries. 
It's important for us to move the breed to this registry as it opens up more support, more resources for the breed, not only in Canada, but around the world. Uh, currently, Canada is the only country whose kennel club, the major kennel club, is not officially recognized our breed. Absolutely. And so it always is important to have support for purebred dogs and especially a breed that's rare like yours and one with such a rich history. If anyone wants to learn more about the dog de Bordeaux, to learn more about why it's important to move this breed as a listed breed into a fully recognized CKC member breed and to also even possibly learn about the history of the process in getting this dog recognized. I know you guys have been through a lot. Who can they contact to learn more about that? Anyone who's interested in finding more about our breed and the process of the referendum vote and why everything is important to us can reach out to us at our National Breed Club's email address, the DDBCC, all lowercase, at gmail.com. Our club would like to speak to anybody that could help us in support of this, and we encourage everyone to vote. This is a very important issue for us and other breeds who may be interested in ourselves. Thank you. Absolutely. And thank you so much, Tracy and Peter Muth, for being here with us today. We encourage all Canadian Kennel Club members to vote in the upcoming referendum. That's going to be going on from November 1st until November 30th of this year. And of course, if you want to learn more about the dog de Bordeaux, Peter has told you exactly where to reach. And it is crucial that we do get your votes in because we want to support our purebred dogs and also support the breeders who dedicated so much of their life to letting the world enjoy their dog de Bordeaux. So thank you so much, Peter and Tracy. Thank, thank you, you, Ian.